The girls' only contact with the outside world was through the catalogs they ordered that started to fill the Lisbon's mailbox with pictures of high-end fashions and brochures for exotic vacations. Unable to go anywhere, the girls traveled in their imaginations to gold-tipped Siamese temples or past an old man with a leaf broom tidying a moss-carpeted speck of Japan. We ordered the same catalogs, and flipping through the pages, we hiked through dusty passes with the girls, stopping every now and then to help them with their backpacks, placing our hands on their warm, moist shoulders, and gazing off at papaya sunsets. We drank tea with them in a water pavilion. We did whatever we wanted. Cecilia hadn't died. She was a bride in Calcutta. The only way we could feel close to the girls was through these impossible excursions which have scarred us forever, making us happier with dreams than wives. Collecting everything we could of theirs, the Lisbon girls wouldn't leave our minds, but they were slipping away. The color of their eyes was fading along with the exact locations of moles and dimples. From five, they had become four, and they were all living in the dead, becoming shadows. <laughs>